This is my Smith & Wesson Shield 40. Let's make it safe. It's my EDC, so it's uh, of course it's fully loaded. Nothing in the chamber. No magazine. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it while I get it while I'm taking it apart. But uh, this is it's from Hops. It's a 40 caliber bore snake. I like to use these just because it makes it a little bit easier to get inside the barrel. But I think this will be the first time I've actually used this one. Yeah. Brand new out of the box. It's got some wires on it right here and then just some cotton. So let's break down the shield. Oh, it's been shot a few times before I've cleaned it, so it's probably pretty nasty. So we'll just remove the spring, set that over here. And we can remove the barrel. It's got that stickiness feeling to it, so probably put a little bit of oil on it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see down the barrel or not, but looks pretty dirty. So we'll set that there. There's the slide. So what I like to do is I'm using some hops uh, number nine solvent. And then I got some rags here, or some cleaning patches. Just kind of some soak this barrel. Get it clean while I clean the other parts. this stuff everywhere. See it's got a little bit of wear from from shooting it. No metal no metal wear but um, I guess it's the coating that they put on these barrels. That's getting the wear to it. I like they use like an old toothbrush. Get all the stuff off of there. We're running this boar snake through the barrel. We put the, the weighted in down the bottom so it can feed it through. Now I like to put just a little bit of this stuff. clean it on the inside of the barrel. You just pull it. Already looking better. The rifling in there holds some of your some of your lead and your jacketing so you gotta get in there pretty good. Make it nice and smooth. So that's three times. Spring. Sometimes spring gets pretty dirty. Just take a brush and kind of clean in the grooves. So next we'll just get all the excess off of there. You clean. I know it looks like there's a bunch of stuff like like cleaning agent in there, but I'll get it out with some rags and then uh, let it dry real good before I put it back together. It's just this is the one of the it's the first time I've actually cleaned it, and I've owned this gun for uh, a couple years now, and it's probably had five, six, seven hundred rounds through it, so I haven't cleaned it yet. I figure I give it a good cleaning. Let's 
So you got this kit. Sometimes you get like a some. I put some uh, Q-tips in there so I can get in all these cracks real good. Just gotta be careful because Q-tips kind of once they start getting used, they they leave some of their fur behind. So. Gotta get all that out of there. Sit that there, then we'll do the do the slide. Just kind of run what's ever left on your toothbrush up in there. Got a little on the. Gun residue, gunpowder residue on the on the muzzle. Kind of brush off. Just take some of these rags, or these patches, and start wiping off the excess. It's been a great gun so far. Excellent uh, personal carry gun. I carry it every day everywhere I go. I got the 40, so it uh, packs a little bit bigger punch, but um, I guess you sacrifice a round or two. But uh, I don't know. I've always just liked 40s and.